to. Okay, welcome back. Here we are. I just get the aircraft under control. I've just boosted it up to 9,000 feet. So, the purpose of the experiment today is to see how far the aircraft can glide from 9,000 feet. Okay. We're directly overhead in Venice, and I'm going to fly down the coast there. Let me just uh, pull the uh, the control, the mixture control. I'm actually more than 9,000 feet. Okay, so I'm actually at 9,700 feet, and I am overhead. Was that's just to in orbit until we get down to 9,000 feet. There's in Venice airfield. Okay. I'll turn the weather off. The uh, weather is cav okay. There's no wind because wind will obviously interfere with our experiment. And you can fast forward this to the conclusion. I'm just going to bring the aircraft down to 9,000 feet. Watching our airspeed indicator. Let's see at what airspeed the, uh, the propeller starts to windmill. There we go. On oh, 90. Okay, it's windmilling now. And we're coming down to 9,000 feet. We are confirmed directly overhead in Vanessa, and I'm going to fly. I'm in Scotland, you see. I uh, don't have the scenery download for California. So I haven't got room on my hard drive. So I'm going to uh, go down the coast of Scotland in an easterly direction, which is that way. Okay, and we're going to trim for 70 knots. As I say, you might want to fast forward this. And we're going to see how far we can fly. Got the map out there, look. Okay, there's 70. So it's just an experiment. You know, I've heard people say that from 9,000 feet, Trevor Jacob could have um, glide for 30 miles, which I'm not sure he could or not, but we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, Inverness, final approach. No, 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 don't want that. So this aircraft's not fitted with a VOR. It doesn't have a VOR. It has got an airspeed indicator, though. The pipe must come. No, it's on that wing. Look, there's the, there's the pitot tube there. So you can see the tube coming up into the wings. The tube will come down, maybe down here and into this instrument. And hopefully this one's connected because it is working. Look. So I need to watch where I'm going. I need to be heading out that way and just try and go in a straight line along the coastline and just see how far we get. We've got two airfields. We've got Kinloss and beyond that, we've got Lossy Mouth. That's a big fighter base, military. I'm not going to start the engine. I'm not going to try and do an emergency landing. I'm just going to see how far it goes before it hits the ground and then I'm going to try and establish how far I am from Inverness on this. VOR, tune VOR, I haven't got, but that's telling me, look, 1.8 nautical miles, so that'll give me a distance. Okay. I can't move it. Okay, so we'll just focus now on the, on the aircraft. Okay, I'm trimmed in, I've got 70 knots there, 60 knots, let's see, need to put the nose down a little bit more, and enjoy our glide along the Scottish coast from Inverness, you can look at this on the map, Google Earth and see for yourself how far we're going, we're now at 8,700 feet, so, you know, no, 7,700, sorry, There's Inverness behind us, Inverness Airfield. In the distance, we've got the city of Inverness, and over there, we've got Loch Ness. Look, the uh, famous Loch Ness monster. Place. Right. Okay. So, 
I'm heading for Kinloss at the moment. Nice big long runway at Kinloss. Hopefully I won't need it. So I'm just steering with the rudder now. I could push and pull on the stick and go, oh, 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 and then open the door and, and, and just jump out. I'm not going to. I haven't got any GoPros in the in the cockpit either. Or out on the wing. Or on the tail. <laughs> or on the dash. Or in my hand. So this this seems to be settled into the glide there at sixty really. I could try to put the nose down, trim down a little tiny bit more just to get it up to seventy. I don't know what the best glide speed is, but I'm guessing it's between 60 and 70 on this. Seems to be quite happy at 60. Okay, we've, got, we've done four miles so far. And we are at 6,600 feet. altitude is an important factor especially when you're over big hills like uh, like Trevor was you, know, you can't glide down to the ground level if the ground is at six or uh, two thousand feet and whatever whatever those mountains are I'm not familiar with the terrain there over Los Padres we're just coming up to five nautical miles gliding now and we're just above six thousand feet so we've Done five miles in uh, in three thousand feet. Pretty much. So we can estimate we could do fifteen miles. So I think thirty miles was a bit of an exaggeration. But uh, there's no harm in conducting experiments and getting a general idea of what the case actually is. So we'll probably make it to Kin Loss, but I doubt if we'll get as far as Loss in Arthur. But we shall see. There's Kin Loss. This is that lagoon you can see ahead of us. There's like a lagoon just there. Kin Loss is on the other side that Okay, we can still see Inverness behind us there. The town of Nern, I believe, just below us. This is the River Nern, emptying out into the sea. A bit of left footer now to bring it round onto heading for Kinloss. 6.7 nautical miles so far, altitude is 5,000 feet. So halfway is 450,000 feet, so coming up to 450 now. And we could double that figure for an estimation, and we've already said it's about 15 miles estimate. If 
depends on the weight of the aircraft, the density, of course, the wind. There's more factors to take into account, but this is with no wind. Default fuel levels. Okay, there we are, 4,500. There it is. And we got seven and a half miles. That's bang on, isn't it? 15 miles, estimation. Not 30, as some people said. But my question is, how far is it from the... Uh, point where he jumped out the crash site to the aircraft to the airport that he took off from Santa Barbara airport oh, yeah, we have to measure it and see see if he could glide all the way back to that airfield Okay, now 8.7 nautical miles from Inverness. Altitude is 3,700 feet. This is not an identical aircraft to the trailer craft, but it's the nearest I can find that is identical to it. Very, very similar in almost every way. So I would imagine that the performance figures are going to be very, very similar to Okay, 9.6 nautical miles, just coming down to 3,000 feet now. Uh, it would be ideal if I could glide this aircraft straight onto the runway at um, Kinloss. But that involves going straight over that lagoon, which means if I don't make it, don't have enough legs, then I'll finish up sinking and getting wet. That's not the purpose of this experiment. The purpose of this experiment is to see how far we can glide from 9,000 feet with no wind. So far, 10 nautical miles, 10.7 actually. With an estimated uh, 4.3 to go. You notice I haven't opened the door once and attempted to look down for somewhere to land with my parachute. Not even touching the yoke, I'm literally just steering with my feet 
on the uh, on the road this time. Then. Eleven point six. One way in sight. Now obviously it would be cutting it fine, wouldn't it, to glide across that water. I wouldn't do that, okay. I'd opt for a field. I'll follow it around the right hand edge of the lake there. I'm gonna go deliberately straight towards the airfield. 12 miles. So I think I'm going to finish up in the lake actually. I certainly wouldn't risk gliding across the lake, that's for sure. Certainly not at this altitude. Okay, 12.7 nautical miles. Don't forget nautical mile is a bit longer than a statute mile. I don't think, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make it to the runway. Okay, so I'm going to push the mixture in. I'm going to restart the aircraft at 500 feet. So we've got a few more hundred feet to go. 13.4 nautical miles from Inverness so far. I'm going to try and start it before I go over the lake. Because if I can't start it, I'm just going to turn right and land in the field. See how responsible I am, even in a simulator. That's sad, isn't it? <laughs> okay, there we are. 500 feet left, and we've covered 13.8 nautical miles. Oh, it really has packed up on me. Didn't like that at all. Okay, it's changed tanks. Go for a restart. 